Welcome. So this is a quick walkthrough of how to set up a Greenbone Security Manager virtual machine. So this started out as an open source project, which was the Greenbone Vulnerability Manager, kind of evolved into GSM, which is the Greenbone Security Manager. Um, and, and this is also related to the original open source OpenVAS project. Um, this is a vulnerability scanner that is maybe comparable to what Nessus does, although it's an open source project. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna load this as a virtual machine and we're gonna scan our Metasploitable virtual machine to kind of get demonstrate um, the capabilities and the user interface. Um, so the first thing we wanna do, you can go ahead and share a screen, screen here, is we're gonna go to the, I don't know if that's working or not. Let's try that again. Let's go share that screen. There we go. Um, we're going to go to greenbone.net. Of course, this is the English version of it. There's a few things we could select. It says GSM trial on the top, which is the Greenbone Security Manager. Um, but I'm going to go to Cyber Resilience and look uh, at what they do for vulnerability management. There's a nice description here of how do we reduce risk with vulnerability scans. And what I'm really looking for is this section on the right. And this is the trial version of the Greenbone Security Manager. So go ahead and we're gonna select that test now button. And you'll see this brings us to a screen that has um, virtual machine options. It's nice because they give you a, a GSM trial for VMware and one also for VirtualBox. So if I select to download it, it'll go ahead and um, download the virtual machine. Of course, I already did it to save us some time. What I wanna highlight before I get off this screen is if you continue to scroll down, whether you're using VMware or you're using VirtualBox, there's an expansion here for instructions. So if I scroll down, I can see that there's a nice tutorial with some pictures. So if you get stuck, you have installation instructions right here, although I'm gonna walk you through it. And even more importantly, if I expand the download uh, section, you'll see I get that SHA-256 hash. So let's look where I already downloaded it. And I'll stick it right there. So here's the hash. Um, notice if I expand this, it's an OVA file. That means I can open this in VMware. It's already built for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click. I'm gonna check the hash and we're looking at SHA-256 calculated on my other screen. So I'll drag it across and you'll see, in fact, these do match. This is always important after we download something from the web, uh, make sure it hasn't been manipulated. So we have the file, um, we've downloaded it from the Greenbone site. And if you get stuck, here's the instructions. So now let me open up my VMware. And the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna select the virtual machine that I uh, downloaded. Again, to get this working the first time, you're gonna select open virtual machine, navigate to that file that we just downloaded, select it and go through the installation process. It's, it's fairly simple as you go through it. Two things to note before we power this on. The first one is the memory requirements. It is default to five gig and it says they need five gig to run it. So I would at least leave, leave five gig for the memory. This is not the default on network adapter. Um, it will default to bridged. For what we're doing today, we're gonna demonstrate this by doing a vulnerability scan of our Metasploitable virtual machine. So in this instance, we're gonna go ahead and NAT it. So before you boot it up, make sure you switch it to NAT. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get on the same network as our Metasploitable virtual machine. So we can do all of this basically contained in our unroutable IP space. That's always a good thing. So I'm gonna power on this virtual machine. Um, it's pretty fast. And one of the things we wanna note is the IP address of the GSM when it comes up. So DHCP gives it an address and we're gonna notice here it's on 192, 168, 70, 132. So that's the subnet we're on. The default login is admin. So we'll do both of those and go ahead and let this power up. The first time I did it, it did take a little bit to get to this, um, to get to final execution. Um, as you do it a couple of times, it shouldn't be so long. So not fully set up. That means 
Um, it has the default community vulnerability scans built into it. And of course, for a fee, you can continuously get those updated, which would be important in a production environment, but not for this demonstration. So we'll still click yes, but then when it gets to put in the subscription key, we're gonna skip it and we're just gonna use the community edition. And it's gonna run this self-check again, which could be um, a little bit longer at first, but on this one, I'm guessing it's gonna jump off in about 30 seconds. There we go. Um, so we just click the okay button. You're ready to go at this point, but what I want you to see is if you scroll down to the about and hit enter, this again gives you that web interface. You see, that's just the same IP address it told me it had when I booted up 192, 168, 70, 132. So this is actually ready to go. I do want to target. So I have my Metasploitable virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and power this up. Again, this was set to NAT also. And um, we're going to verify before we scan it uh, that it's on the same subnet. Uh, we could scan it anyway if it wasn't, but this will keep it in that non-routable space, which is always good when we're using vulnerability tools. So we'll let this thing boot up. And um, as you recall, the login and password for the Metasploitable virtual machine open from source. You can get it from source for source forge. Um, M S F A D M I N. D M I N. I'm not even sure if I'm there. Let's try that again. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit IF config. To verify, to actually not only verify, but see what my target is. So it's that 192. 168, 70, 129. You know what? We can just drag it off over here. We have the professional version. I'm really seeing both at the same time. Um, and, and then verify. So my target is 129. So this is a client server application. So uh, similar to Nessus, I'm going to open this up on my host machine, which is a Windows 10 machine right now. Um, let's, let's go just go ahead and bring over a browser and we're gonna go to 192 and you'll see this over there. 192, 168, 70, 132, that was, that was it. Um, notice that there's no certificate loaded, that's fine. Um, you may get that screen that says uh, there's a problem with it for security, right? You hit the advanced, go ahead, accept it and go there anyway because it's, it's your computer. And it's just saying that the uh, certificates aren't set up. So if you do get that the first time, I got it on the first time, um, go ahead and continue to the site. Um, so Chrome is, is suggested for this one because it'll go through that process. Edge might just not let you go at all because it, you see it did try to attempt HTTPS and there's a line through it up there. Um, I went ahead and set up an account and the installation will ask you to set up a username and a password. And then um, this looks a little bit familiar. It's not like Nessus, but certainly similar. And setting up a scan is as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select scans and then tasks, right? You can see I already have a task done because I've done this um, once before. So we didn't have to wait for it because the scan does take a while. But if we hadn't done a scan before, and this is blank, your first scan, when you went to scans tasks, Go to the wizard. You see there's a little wizard wand up here. And we're gonna go select the task wizard. And you just put in the IP address of our target, which for us, the Metasploitable virtual machine, it was 192, 168, 70, 129. And then um, I go ahead and I can select the start scan and it'll start scanning that machine. When the scan's finished, you'll get a done. And again, this will take a little while to populate. It'll start with a 0%, um, so wait on it. But as soon as it gets to 1% scanned, you can click the reports and see it as it's running. Ideally, just walk away, come back later. And at the end of the scan, you see this machine is a uh, rating, has a risk rating of 10, severity of high. We know that because the Metasploitable virtual machine is built with a bunch of exploits. 
but we could click the reports after it's finished and it gives us a summary. Um, we can see there's 24 um, items listed with high severity, 36 medium, and, and this is a summary. Now, what I want is that nice list of all the vulnerabilities that, it, that explain each one of them to me that I'm comfortable with with Nessus, but this tool doesn't cost me um, almost $3,000 a year. So I can go to scans and the other selection is reports. I can click that one and I get something similar. So I wanna click, give me the list of vulnerabilities. And now this is what we really expected to see. Uh, for example, we'll just select um, this remote login, um, password list login option, click on it and, it and it gives us this explanation, right? The severity, what is this and how do I mitigate it or solve it? So this is real helpful, um, you know, whether it's your home network, small business, or in a production environment, you can use the tool to scan your machine, scan your entire networks, look for the vulnerabilities, um, and continuously reduce your risk by um, going into the mitigating solutions or, or a way to solve it, rescanning it until the vulnerability scans go away. So that's a basic way to get uh, GreenVolm Security Manager up and running in a virtual machine, this is VMware, scan your metasploitable virtual machine. And um, that's a quick intro to how to get this project working. Thanks.